Right then, so welcome back to my channel. However, if you're new here, this is my BMW S38 B36 from an E34 M5, which I've just started the rebuild on. It's going in my E30 Touring. However, the car's just gone off for the respray. So now we're moving on to the engine build. So this is now the second video, but unfortunately in this one, we do find a bit of an issue. So the next box of bits are all here. We've got the timing chains, some of the guides, some of the bolts, bushes, gaskets, circlips, timing cover, some gaskets, let's get those on. But first, I need to change something. This. So when installing this, it's the tensioner. So the tensioner will go on here and this guide will push on the chain to keep it in tension. However, if you look very closely, there's an oil port. And then when you start looking in here, you'll see there's some more oil ports. So you need to add these O-rings. Super easy to miss because you don't think about it when you remove it. But if you look inside, there's a little groove for them. I didn't want to film that as it was an absolute pain. However, they are in, but what I did first was due to these holes here, there was some swarf left inside. So I just quickly used a bit of brake cleaner on the inside of those, just to clear out any of the swarf. Those are ready to go. So now it's time for a slightly controversial topic. So with the gaskets, now would you just install them as is? Or would you use some Loctite? Well, not Loctite, flange sealer. This is from BMW themselves and it's from the repair manual. This is what they're told to use on both sides of the paper gasket. So my aim here is to run down both sides and both sides on the timing chain, on the timing cover, then we can tighten it up. To make life a bit easier, I've had this 3D printed adapter, which means you can fit it into a standard cork gun. And hopefully this will give me a bit more accuracy and less mass, as you want a real light coat here because you don't want anything kind of going inside. Just a disclaimer, for this next part, please don't take any notice. Knocking the ceiling, this is all I have. I've just cleaned it all down to make sure there's nothing on it. Should be a nice easy tap in, so let's get that done. Now when reading online, some people say leave it dry, some people say add a slight bit of gasket sealant. So that's what I'm gonna do, as that shouldn't cause too many issues. So 
So what's next? Talking up the crank hub. So I've made this handy little contraption which is able to hold the rotating assembly in place. So when I talk up, it's not be able to move. So what the plan is now is to set the torque wrench to the initial torque, which is 150 newton meters. So normally you do 150 newton meters, you'd reverse it by half a turn, you then tighten it by 60, and then you have to do a 60 degree, 60 degree, and a 30 degree. I think that comes out to something crazy like 700 newton meters. I could be wrong there. However, I won't be able to do that in the stand. As yet, that is how you normally do it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. But just holding on by four bolt holes, I'm not too happy about that. So the plan is for now is to just do the 150, and then I'll leave that until the engine is in the car, and then I can do the rest of it, because I need a much bigger breaker bar than I've got. I've only got a half inch drive, and I know they're easy to snap. I'm currently just waiting on the block dowels to arrive. So what I thought I'd do is get on with the zinc plating prep. So I've got all these boxes here, just been gonna go through them. I do now send this off. I did used to do it myself. However, unfortunately I don't get the time anymore. So all I'm doing here is they've all been either blasted, evaporusted, ultrasonic cleaned, everything to get everything good. And then all you need to do is wire wheel them to get them nice and shiny, because it's a shiny in, shiny out process. So the next step, got the head bolts here, head studs, shall I say. Just clean them down with some penetrating fluid and brake cleaner to make sure they're nice and clean as they had a bit of a protective coating on. So reading up on loads of different forums and even the ARP standard, it says to install these with a tad bit of Loctite and the coarser thread here. So you use the cap head on the top and you don't want to tighten them crazy, you just want to nip them all, just they all need to be nipped. So I'm gonna get that done now.
Okay, so we are now in a position to torque the head down. So I've lubricated all the studs with the lube that came with the AOP bolts. I've written down the torque sequence and settings. The first, 40 newton meters, second, 81, third, 122. And then there's the sequence, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. So with this already in position, let's give it a go. So what I've just quickly done off camera is I've swapped out these springs for some lighter springs. The reason is, is I want to check piston to valve clearance. So what I need to do initially is fit a kind of an angle gauge on the front of here. So I know exactly where top of the center is and the degrees each way. And then I'm able to measure once the cams are in, how much play that's going to move. So I can measure this current gap to figure out the, the, re, the range of the piston to the valve. And then we can put the cams in and we can start timing them each way and see how much gap there is. So now let's just get the intermediate head on. I won't put any seals in as I'm still missing a plug for here that is on its way. So once that arrives, I'll obviously have the top head off because I need to change the springs back anyway. But I won't be adding any sealant just so that I can easily access it. Are you rolling? Yeah. That's it. So unfortunately, that is as far as I can go today, as the studs are too long and they were hitting the intermediate head. You saw in the video, it wasn't sitting fully flat and I looked through, I thought it was the dowels, but it's not even clearing the dowels, it's up to about there. So rethink time, maybe just get the ARP spolts instead, but we're gonna have to remove all these. So yeah, definitely an issue. Massive issue, maybe, maybe not. Luckily, it's not too late to sort out. Hopefully I can get them nice and soon, but we shall carry on in the next video. Thanks for watching.